Oh, I haven't really done a what's up. What's up? What? 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 What's up? What? 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 What's up, guys? Welcome back to another classic, classic episode of Parkour Journeys. Hang about. This is a not so classic episode. <laughs> We're about halfway to the Lake District and we just stopped off at the uh, petrol station and obviously uh, we're having a little stretch out but we're <laughs> everyone's looking at us really funny because we're just stretching out in the car park. Problem when they don't have designated stretching areas. You have to fucking commandeer a parking space so you can stretch out. Uh, so we've got like a two day walk around the Lake District uh, which is going to be awesome. We're trying out a tent this time rather than having the hammocks. It's going to be fun. Lake District is beautiful. We went there for a trip. Uh, couple weeks back but now we're gonna get on that walk in life again packs are a little bit lighter this time so it should be easier but the hills are gonna be a lot more mountainous let's we'll see how that goes okay. oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> fuck this shit stopped <laughs> off for a cheeky game of magic of course in the services I drove another hour and now we're here at the lake district just spent like i don't know like five minutes trying to wedge the car in this uh tiny little gap and we're gonna head up up those. Oh, I haven't really done a what's up. What's up? What's up? What? 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 Another classic. Hang about. This is a not so classic episode. A brand new kind of classic. This is a brand new kind of classic. Going on a walk again. Going on a walk. Maybe. Parkour walk. Park it's a parkour walk because we do parkour. Mm. And we're on a walk. Wherever we go, parkour comes with us. Exactly. It's the parkour spirit, man. You can't lose that. Nope. It's unless unlosable. You, unless you put the camera in front, right? Yeah, and then you lose mm, the parkour the spirit. Yeah. yeah. That's why you have to be get the line done first, solidify your parkour spirit, and then you're allowed to film it afterwards. And that is, that is the parkour rules. Last time we were here, we climbed up that. Uh, it looks a lot higher in real life. Oh, look, makes me miss the Audi. Oh, mate, we would have been driving around like yeah. that before with the drone following us. We've got, we're, we're gonna be walking, walking. We've got a tent with us this time. So this is my first time sleeping uh, in a tent because we usually hammock like we did on the last one. And, yeah, we might, we might. It's not too savage of a walk, so we might even get some parkour in. Maybe a little parkour sequence, if you're lucky. Show you how we're camping, show you the setups and stuff. So, there you go, that's this week's video, and you will enjoy. Not as sunny, but this place is hella magical compared to the coastal walk. Coastal walk was kind of like beautiful, and like sort of nice holiday, kind of holiday seaside sort of, but also epic because it had the cliffs. But this is like straight out of the Hobbit fairy tale book land. Look at this shit. Suckle on the teeth of life. <laughs> if you get diarrhea, man, we're so fucked. I'm shitting along the mountain. <laughs> I'm not risking that after last time, last <laughs> adventures fiasco. Make it madly inconvenient. <laughs> Just sorted out myself a leaf hat. Keep the sun off my head, you know. <laughs> <Hey, rad. laughs> Keep the rain out of my face, you know. Oh. Yeah, do. Perfect, mate. Shit, no, Damn. Awesome. Looks like I win the competition. Yeah. Run, man. Run the trail. Run, run the trail. <laughs> I was filming, I had to keep going. <coughs> <laughs> this one, this mountain actually makes it look like we've walked way higher. The Jurassic Coast looked like we're walking along flat ground the whole time and it was like, boom, bank upright. And this is like chill as fuck and it looks super high. There you go, the camera adds 10 meters. <laughs> Look at this. As if. And the slog begins. Word to the wise, stretch. When you get out of the van, before you start the walk. I definitely misspoke. This is hardcore. Ooh. Little break at a nice piece of flat. It's always worth charging up the hills. I realized from the last walk, it was like, keep pushing up the hill. 
and then chill on the flat because it's much harder to get going on the middle of a hill. <sighs> Look at this. Mountain juice. Use that <laughs> mountain. That free mountain juice, man. That's free mountain juice out there. This is what we call Tesco's, mate. Look, sheep. Just like in Tesco. Yep. <laughs> you got your lamb, you got your vegetables. You got your Mountain Dew. Okay. That's a dig of the people. Ah, shit. You're all sheep because all sheep. you do exactly what I do when I'm not here. <laughs> Next time you're at the checkouts and they all say, please scan your club card at the same time. Just, yeah, see how that makes you feel. Makes me feel very weird. Check this climbing portion out. Look at that. Climbing portion. Whoa. Whoa. Look at that. I'm climbing the side of a mountain. Climbing portion. Yes. The path has led us to this. So I bet everyone's climbing up this and that's perfectly normal. Or we've totally missed the path. Let's go find out, huh? <laughs> Can you imagine if this was at home? You know, like wet floor shines everywhere and do be careful. Danger of death. <laughs> oh yeah. Don't walk up these stairs, these are the heart attack stairs. Oh nice mate, I think this is the path. That's so cool. Honestly, imagine if we were at home, it'd be like, if this was like even just a little bit close to that, it'd be like health and safety, be careful. Make your addition to the world, man. Contribute. Give back. Build rock towers on your way up. And then you get mountains. And then you get mountains. That's how you get mountains. <laughs> oh, this walk is already cooler than the Jurassic Walk, just for the sake of that climb, man. Yeah. That was cool. Rock climbing on the way. There's two old ladies behind us, and how are they going to manage that? They'll probably just do it, everyone, you see kids toddling down this place. Looks good up here. By the way, quick thank you to Freet for making oh, barefoot life possible for us to go around climbing all these things barefoot, barefoot shoes. I'm saying that as someone who's was totally nothing to do with Freet a while back. Now, if you want to buy the same fruit we've got, or any fruit, discount code in the link below. But honestly, I'm only working with them because I really believe in their products. Me and Kieran have been wearing these for like over a year now. It's exactly what we love to wear. And it's just so much better to be, to be able to be barefoot in these scenarios. Look at that poster up there. Nothing? Oh, walk on the mountain. What the hell? How is this a walk? It's so good. Fucking nice. It's a scramble. <laughs> it looks like they put these all the way up to sort of help you know where the path is. This is the gates of war, Have you got any of that elves in the roof? Oh yeah. <laughs> Doing free lamb nap bread. A couple hours later and you're halfway up the side of the mountain. That's good shit. You can't see at all. You can't see at all. Don't 
Sounds like a nice setup to me. Hell yeah. Hopefully that river is nice. <laughs> oh shit. God, I feel like I can get sucked under here. Yeah, but quick then. <laughs> oh, that was dodgy. Yeah, we had to change into bare feet so that we could walk the marshland and find a nice dry bit for the camp. But this view is just too good to turn down. Not that you can really even fucking see it on this thing. Check this out. We are chilling. <laughs> Look at this, beautiful view. And, oh, mate, it's basically Harry Potter in here. Look how big it is. <laughs> yes. See, see, you can yeah. invest in good camping gear or invest in a friend that's gonna buy all the camping gear. <laughs> I've just heard about this ridiculous goggle box for kids. Yeah. Get your kids to watch this instead. Parkour journeys will bring you all that. <laughs> get inspired. Get outside. Don't fucking don't watch people watching people. What are you doing? So this is the setup, man. We got sleeping bag. I'm gonna get the in in a quilt in in a bit. And pillows, roll mat. This is way way different to the hammock life. I'm not sure what I prefer yet. Obviously, I haven't spent a night in it yet. Uh, we're waking up to that. Should be beautiful. Got to cook up some food first. Um, see where we're at in a bit. Show you how we set this all up tomorrow. Um, but for now, let's cook up some food. Yo, wait for my toes to warm up. They got well cold in that marsh, man. Yeah, pretty fucking cold. <laughs> <laughs> for those of you who were upset, I didn't show you how I made dinner in the previous thrilling. What do you call it? Adventures. No, no, what's it? What's like a thrilling seat holding? What do you call it? Edge of your seat gripping video. So this meal is with the Mexican rice and the chili rice. The great thing about this is that there's no preservatives or anything in it, which is such a plus for us, because obviously we take care of our health as best as possible. So you got this veggie chili rice that is um, packed full of goodness. So the whole meal comes to about uh, 700 calories and about 45, 50 grams of protein, which is awesome. Exactly what you need at the end of a a day's walk in protein to obviously build yourself back up and you've got some carbs in there to give you that energy. We want to be eating like a lot of fats on the actual walk to, that's, that's like the fuel you want to be burning on the walk is your fats. So we've got, um, so I've got some like dark chocolate and like during the day I eat the, the tuna soaked in sunflower oil and uh, some golden rice as well. And we've got trek bars and naked bars. So I'll keep you posted on what I'm eating. Um, in case you're interested in that too. <laughs> oh, that was beautiful, but I can tell Kieran is gagging to let you know what's going on over there. Got my fajitas, that mm, bit of pita. Gonna have that for the day, yum yum. I probably might, <laughs> I might have that for snacks later. Yum or, yum. Yeah, yum yum, just in case. Just in case you don't know, it's tasty. Or if you're feeling a little bit funky, Liam's sleeping in the middle of the night, I'm gonna pop some eye holes in this and, and like a mouth hole. <laughs> and I'm gonna go, Liam! <laughs> sweet potato and like mixed veg. I got brought so much that I thought I was gonna be able to eat it all in one go, but no. Mixed in with some fajita mix, so. I'm I've ready. gone for the efficient calories. Yeah. And Kieran's gone for the swank, the Ritz, 
Mm-hmm. Glampo McGlampingson. If I haven't forgotten oh, it. It's tasty though. These the, the fajitas he makes. Absolutely. Yeah, they're banging. Yeah. This is what I'm reading at the moment. It's quite a good book so far. It's a little bit on the depressing side, but I'm only a little bit in it right now. I'm only a little bit depressed. I'm only a little bit depressed so far. <laughs> good morning. We're all packed up. Just like to see what view we woke up to this morning. Oh. Oh. Look at that. I'll take that for a good morning view. Absolutely. Look at this. Oh my god. Get some god ratio over there. Oh. We get to walk all over this place today, huh? That's gonna be good. Oh, first night in the tent. Mmm. Mmm. Hammock definitely is my preference thus far. But. I mean, we found a fairly flat place, but I still ended up sliding down and to the right. Kieran was worried the tent would fly away because it was really blowy, but it stayed. It stayed absolutely fine. Um, yeah, still feels nicer to wake up and have a crap night's sleep. Wake up to this than not wake up to this at all and be in bed every damn day. I take it every day, every day. By the way, if you're looking for the perfect jumper to have with you on a travel like this or any kind of adventures you go on, the Parkour Journeys jumper is for you. Look at that parkour journey. Would you say the parkour journey's jumper has been extremely helpful? Barry died in the middle of the ad. Best look, he's loose, he's limber, he's warm. Not too warm. Not too warm. Not too warm, perfect, perfect. You can jump around in this jumper. This jumper will keep you safe and warm during all those nasty jumps that you have to do or adventures you have to take. This jumper will keep you feeling like you are at home while you're not at home. It's everything uh, you want. Um, link in the bio, we are the ones who sell them. <laughs> we jump much more, jump much more. We put the tents out lying down jump and sliding more. on the floor. J -j jump much more. I like to eat roast beef on a I Sunday, do parkour. But I don't eat meat. So I jump so much more. I have a double it's a jump back lip. Just in case you can hear this, we've just found an echo. Yo! It comes back like a second or two later, that's so sick. Echo! You hear that? Fucking not. Kieran and I are taking separate paths to try and avoid the marshland. The winner is the man with dry feet when we get back to the path. Oh yes, I've absolutely smashed the marsh race. Marsh race, it's hard to say. If you want to see Kira's version of this, it's on our Instagram, Parkour Journeys, at Parkour Journeys, behind the scenes of this, behind the scenes of the walking. Yeah. If you just are really, really into walking and mad banter. This is
we've just come from up there, down here, and now we're going up that. I can't tell you how much more mountainous these look in person, honestly. It's totally different. Really weird, because like, last time, obviously it took me a day to get into what I was doing. And uh, this time it was like, I knew what to expect, straight in. Because at the start, you kind of think, oh man, if I'm this out of energy now, how am I going to be for the next five days? But it evens out and you end up pretty much just stomping, stomping nicely, which is great. No breakfast yet. We're not having breakfast. Well, I'm not having breakfast. Having uh, just lunch and no, just completely fasting until lunch like last time. It worked out really well. So that's it. That's where we're at. Look at this place. Beautiful, isn't it, mate? Quite nice, actually. Quite nice. Definitely a more savage walk than the coast. Jesus. This is insanely beautiful. Insanely beautiful. Over misty mountains go. Seriously, man, come and do this. If you haven't done anything like this, just go and give it a go. Where we are right now is the Lake District, right through Ambleside, and you get to Langdale. I think it's called Langdale. That's where we parked up, and you've got these walks. Just come and have a go, man. It's so awesome. Just like, you just walk through it. It's just fucking beautiful. You feel like in the middle of Lord of the Rings, man. It's so nice. Just do it now. Go and do it now. No time to waste, everyone. No time to waste. This is your life. Get on it. <sighs> oh, what the fuck was that? I think I got a parasite. I think I do. Oh, great. Not a bad place to be eating lunch. Not a bad view at all. Cooking up some, what have I got? Tuna. Tuna and sunflower oil. You've seen this in the other video, in the other walk if you haven't seen that link up here. But um, tuna and sunflower oil. Keep the sunflower oil in because you want as many fats and calories as you can get. And some uh, golden rice from Tesco's. This is like 60p. Golden vegetable rice. And it's... Uh, Long grain rice, mixed vegetables, red pepper, carrots, sweet corn, peas, yeast, onion powder, turmeric, salt, garlic powder, pepper, turmeric flavoring. Pretty much all good shit. So that's a happy day's lunch and I'm excited for that. I'm also having two squares of 90% dark chocolate and Trek bar and naked bar. All good healthy snacks. Um, fat, a lot of fats from the from the cocoa in the chocolate um, and then the trek bar is basically a protein flapjack uh, and the naked bar is like some sugars it's got dates cashews raisins and that's it it's like no preservatives or anything so well worth checking those out not sponsored by any of these obviously I get like 200 views a video but still exciting um, just worth sharing in case you're up for being healthy on a walk or out and about for lunch yo these are also great for when you're out doing parkour. We're back on the road, on the good old, good old, good old road, the classic, classic roads. Where are you going? We were, we went up that peak, we came down there, went up that one, and actually we had to go down and back down here. Right now, that's where I am right now. Yeah. Look at that, mate. Made all the way here. It's like I could just push you into the river, like. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, pack's a little bit lighter now. I'm about a litre and a half of water and a couple of meals down. So it's getting easier to tackle the downhill. And sometimes when it's just a path like this, you can just fucking pay it down, mate. It's so fun. Absolutely brilliant. I don't know if you can see that, but there's like a cloud across the mountain. It's moving really quickly. It looks awesome. Had to put our raincoats on. Because it's not raining. And now we've got all this lovely terrain to cross. And down. I have no idea, but we came up like that sort of side. Walked all along there. And then back. Oh. Um, Super hard to tell where you are. It's really lucky we got this map app. Epic. 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 Half is absolutely nuts. Like, obviously, we're like super used to walking it now. But, like, if you just put this path you know, on the side of the road in any normal town, people would be like, "That's such a health and safety risk." I mean, you put it on the side of a mountain like that, and like, well, then what? You know, it's crazy. These rocks are getting a bit slipperier now. to that place where, well, I don't really know what I'm talking about because the mine's pretty fucking empty, but this looks amazing. There's something that you can't tell is gonna happen to how you feel when you're sitting at home thinking about a walk like this. And you're like, yeah, yeah I could do that. Or I could sit here and be comfortable. And when you're at home, it's difficult to convince yourself that it's going to be better to go and push and exert yourself and try and do something difficult and uncomfortable. But when you're doing it, man, nothing matches that feeling. So we were like all the way over there earlier today, if not further around, I'm not entirely sure where we came from, but we were certainly up and around and on the other side of this stream thing. So that's pretty fucking nuts. Sort of sense for how big we are compared to this thing. Not very. Start spending some time on these things, you start looking at it like it's a staircase. Wow, that looks lovely down there, doesn't it? Yeah. Cool. Beautiful.
making our way back down now. We finished the route. Yeah, great time, great time. Fucking astounding, astounding views. We're gonna get a nice hot pub meal now, I think. Nice well-earned pub meal. This is probably where I'll end the video, so if it is, then thanks for watching, appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed walking around. Hope you got inspired to go walk a little bit yourself, find somewhere fun to walk and uh, get out, do that shit. And hopefully see you here next week, same time, Tuesday, 4.30. Well, hey, a little bit of battery. Tuesday, 4.30, subscribe. We got up this morning in the tent, found a lovely place, jumped in the river, absolutely freezing cold. You can check out Kieran's video for that and uh, on yeah, our Instagram right. at Parkour Journeys. And we'll see you on the next one, motherfucker. Look at that, a sick morning. Woo! Let's see how long this supposed dead battery lasts.